So following on um, from my video about the product um, that I bought for my um, pigmentation around my mouth, I also bought another product to um, deal with the open pores that I seem to be getting. Open pores don't really bother me too much um, because I can usually cover them with concealer and foundation. Inevitably what I'm doing is pa painting them over and working them within the pores um, to create a smooth flawless base but of course if I'm doing that over time I'm going to be blocking them and creating um, you know just problems for my skin and breakouts so um, I haven't really used anything um, to help deal with the pores and I thought while I'm at when I'm doing this experiment I'll work on these and see if they do get any tighter. So I'll come in closer so you can see the pores and you can see just about round by my nose um, they look like blackheads but they you know I don't have any blackheads they've all been cleared out um, which I do in the shower but and because I use a hot cloth cleanser it's really easy to just kind of build them out and I do use toner too so with my toner um, obviously I'm doing as much as I can to close the pores but it's not working enough so I decided to buy um, this product which is the um, pore refining Correctin corrective serum or correcting serum rather and this was about £22 as well um, it helps uh, skin bring healthier cells to the surface for tighter smoother Younger look in two weeks. Pores appear 58% smaller. Use early. Apply morning and, uh, and night after three step. Well, I don't use this three step. Um, I'm quite happy with my Lizelle cleanser and toner. But I'm going to be using this for um, 30 days, like the other one, over my pores, and I'll see if they have um, snap shut tight um, and look visibly smoother. It certainly feels like one of those serums that as soon as it goes on it feels smoother I really have very oily skin around here very very oily skin um, and you can wipe the, the oil away around my nose um, so it would be really good to try and get some of these glands and you know pores closed and keep that horrible shine away from my face which I hate so that's one of the products I got um, for the pores and on that you can layer this one here which is the um, Instant Perfector. Now this one I believe it's um, a product that we'll use you know, to help enhance the look instantly. Um, look smooth and virtually flawless instantly. Pores seem to disappear. Natural looking matte finish lasts up to 8 hours as smart technology manages to um, or manages excess oil where and when needed, resists sweat and humidity. Um, I think it's once a day. It says for a smooth and virtually flawless dot, uh, look, finger dot and blend over pores alone over makeup or touch ups. So before I apply that, I just want to show you um, my skin with that on. I feel slight tingling, um, especially on this side where I got a bit more of the product on. And then I'm going to apply this one. I don't, apart from it just feeling really smooth to touch, I don't really notice anything else on the tingling. Oh, this is a really weird colour. That's odd. Was this, but, uh, oh, I think I got, a, I did not realise it was coloured and I've picked up a really dark colour. It doesn't matter, I think it's going to be okay. So I'm going to apply that over. I think it's just like um feels like um a very soft product that is a little chalky. Not chalky, but it feels like it's something you're working in to fill in those pores. Actually I should have just applied it one side so you can see if there is any difference. I'm gonna take a bit more. Use it one half of my nose, and you can see.
Showing my nose. Okay, I can see a difference. Um, if you look around this area, you can see the pores um, and how they look compared to this side. These ones are much deeper and less smoother. I did apply a little bit, just what was left on my finger, but you can still see that there is a difference. And then when you look at my nose, you can see they appear less than, the, than on this side. Yep, so I will um, continue using all of these products for the next 30 days and then see if it makes any difference to my skin. If not, money not well spent, but if so, I don't mind. I actually did, um, talking, going back to the other video, which you may or may not have seen, but I did recommend the um, dark spot corrector to um, a client of mine and she, I, I see her quite regularly and she actually did go out and get it um, and I've noticed that she has um, what do what are they call freckles, quite dark freckles. I've never seen such dark freckles on an Indian lady before, but she has them all around here on both sides and going over. And, and she likes her skin to be completely flawless and she doesn't like the freckles to show. So I often have to work hard at color correcting them. But since she's been using this dark skin corrector, her freckles have really disappeared too. So, um, you know, it's, it's, I mean, I've used it before and I know it does work um, for me especially. It might not work for everybody, but just depending on the type of pigmentation, I guess. But mine, um, I think, you know, I have, I wouldn't say it's completely mild because in these areas it can get really, really dark um, to the point where it looks like, you know, a, a proper visible mark even over makeup. But, and it shows through makeup. So I don't think I, I, could, I would call it a mild pigmentation. I, I do think it slightly, goes slightly deeper. The, the texture of the pigmentation is different and it goes down deeper. It feels like it's deeper into the skin. So if I'm exfoliating it, it feels like, you know, the skin texture is different and it, it just feels like it's lumpier, the skin there, because of it, it's harder skin. So um, I do feel like it works and hopefully I'll be able to show you that. So um, I hope these two will be useful to you in time to come. Um, I'm going to upload them now just so you know I'm doing this experiment and keep an eye out in 30 days um, for the rest of this video. And the date today is uh, the 23rd of November 2011 and um, oh gosh uh, the next time I'll be recording this will be near Christmas time. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Anyway, see you soon. Bye.